actually um, tell jokes to a half-empty room, and everybody else is just comedians. Um, anyway, totally glad you guys are here, because I need to talk. I recently went through a really bad breakup. And as hard as it was, like, sometimes you just know that the person you're with is not the one. And there are some differences that are so big, like, you just can't get around them no matter how hard you try. So, like, with us, come on in. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Um, with us, it was that he was into, like, Motown and British comedies, while I enjoyed fantasizing about his sister sexually. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> so now that I'm, like, sort of jumping back into the dating pool, you guys know, all know what that means, I have to start giving blowjobs again. <laughs> The girls and the gays know that, like, performing fellatio is the worst fucking thing ever. And, yeah, I'm calling you out on it. And, um, it might just be, like, the fat girl in me talking, but seriously, I'm, like, a couple seconds and a couple inches in, and I'm thinking, like, this could really use a side of ranch. <laughs> right? Before you can even get to sucking dick, you have to get somebody to ask you out on a date. Yeah, ideally. And like, therein lies my problem because I'm really bad at reading other people. Like, for instance, the other night I'm like flirting with this guy, really hardcore, and I think it's going pretty well. And, uh, come in. And, um, like, we're really into it. See, I already forgot. Take two. Um, it's going really well, and he won't stop asking the same annoying question over and over. Original or extra crispy, ma'am? And I'm like, why are men so hard to read? Come on. So anyway, um, a friend of mine suggested that I go on the internet and try out this like online dating thing. You guys know about this? It's pretty yeah. new. Um, but the problem with online dating is that basically every date you go on is a blind date. So you may have seen a picture of somebody or read their profile and you think they're pretty sexy, but you don't know like in person if you're gonna have any kind of chemistry. Like that is so much pressure. That along with trying to make a super good first impression makes me crazy. Develop these like little nervous tics, like be sitting across from a guy, maybe I'll like tap my fingers nervously or twirl my hair excessively or like just reach down and pull out my tampon. And like I think it's adorable, but they don't seem to think so. So anyway, now I am just masturbating basically to fulfill my own needs. And it's good. It's totally fine. I'm pretty great at it. Um, <laughs> but I know that it can't go on for too long because I develop like these weird unhealthy attachments. Like the last time I was single for any length of time, um, my black silicone replica of a fist and I ended up at a cake tasting and like registered at Macy's. <laughs> he went to Jared. <laughs> but seriously, I came to my senses and of course, we eloped. Thanks, you guys. Yes. All right. Mom went to Jerry's too late. You guys, we got just a few more comments coming up to the stage. Thank you all for hanging out, supporting live comedy, enjoying yourself. Everybody in here should be in the front room. Don't make me come back there. Yeah! I ain't playing. No. <laughs> Don't make me come back here because I will. I will turn this whole comedy show around. Do it! Who's next? Next up to the stage, we have a very funny man, a legend of comedy. 
of epic Greek proportions, Mr. Odyssey, Michael Odyssey, Odyssey, Odyssey. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Yes, 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 y'all. We in the house. Nice. McCormick's Thursday morning comedy. <laughs> Broken microphone stand. Oh man, I love doing stand up comedy. I do. I love doing it in uh, McCormick's bar here downtown in uh, uh, the bottom, most uh, dangerous suburban area in the country. I felt pretty safe the last uh, three dudes just rolled up in here. No offense, young guys. Y'all look like fire. Just scared the shit out of me. But I know I'm getting old because I see dudes like that and I immediately make sure I have my concealed permit in my pocket. And I want right to write to my wallet. I was like, oh yeah, I got my shit on me. Young guys like to fight. I don't even have time for it. I just, I, mean, I got to go. I got to, I got to work tomorrow. No offense, young boys. How you doing? I don't want to, want to scuffle and shit like that. I, I got stuff to do. No scuffling. Using a handkerchief now, that's how I know I'm getting older. Using a handkerchief, that doesn't even make sense. Just snot on a rag and put it right back in my pocket. <laughs> but I care about the environment, because you know, you get to reuse a snot rag. That's how I do it. <laughs> I like reusing stuff. Sometimes, I don't like reusing stuff in hotel rooms. I go to hotel rooms, they try to make me feel like I'm a bad person, like I don't care about the environment, which I don't appreciate. Because uh, I do, I, I have a handkerchief, which is my way of helping the planet, but I go to a hotel and they're like, hey, hey, why don't you reuse your towels and washcloths? Millions of gallons of water are wasted each year by people not reusing their towels and washcloths. Please reuse your towels and washcloths. I love this planet. It's the only one we got. I do. I love it with all my heart. But here's the deal. I wash my balls with that washcloth. <laughs> Bottom line, I'm not going to be teabagging myself if... <laughs> I have to rub my own nuts on my own face in order to save this planet. Where did I go in the bag? <laughs> I'm just letting you know right now. It's not Dance with a man one time. <laughs> I know. I'm straight too. I didn't know. I was at a club just dancing. You know, was, you know, my philosophy is you never, you know, if a lady comes up to you and asks you to dance, you don't turn it down. It's just, it's just a dance. You know, you're out of the club, you're having fun, you know, you don't want to hurt anybody's ego or whatever. It was a long time ago, I first moved down here to Richmond, I was at this club, and uh, I'm just dancing, enjoying myself, and this woman comes up to me, she goes, hey, would you like to dance? I'm like, sure. Sure, why not? So I'm dancing, you know, on the floor, you know, we're dancing and stuff, and, uh, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, I'm dancing, and then I just started noticing stuff, you know, like, stuff just started clicking, I was like, man, she, she got a big face, like, <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, there's a difference in the size of face between a man and a woman. So, you're looking at you, looking at him, your faces are different sizes. I didn't even realize it at the moment. You know, I was all under the fog of dancing to not mess up somebody's self esteem. So, I'm dancing. <laughs> and I said something, said something to, uh, to her. And uh, she threw back her head and kind of laughed. She was like, ah, <laughs> And like the Adam's apple in the throat right here, just uh, just bah, just started bouncing up and down like Kobe was going in for it. <laughs> but still, in my head, I'm like hoping. I'm like, you know what I mean? Like I'm just I'm just wrong about this dance. It's just a a, a, a real a lady with a big face and an Adam's apple, right? Like I'm still in my head. I'm like anyway. So we got finished with the dance, because I went through the whole dance. I mean, I, I stuck it out for the dance. I didn't like quit, you know what I mean? Like, because I was confused. Then I, I went to shake her hands like, thank you for the dance. And uh, did one of these little, can't do it with the microphone, it sucks. She did like, like, like we grabbed the tip of the finger like that, you know, like, like that. So I couldn't grab her whole big ass fucking man hand. <laughs> I haven't told that story in a while. And uh, there's no punchline to it. It's not gonna be. Maybe later I'll jam it in with another story. Don't clap, don't, bull don't bullshit clap for me, man. I don't want that. Some other people do, I don't know. <laughs> I don't need to be laughed to get off the stage. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I would just say goodbye. <laughs> Tell me who's next. Oh, 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 o
Uh, technical difficulties. Pardon. Huh? Exactly. Uh, sorry about that, everybody. Technical difficulties for a moment. Just a few more comments coming to the stage. Please give them your full attention. They have waited it out to be able to entertain you. So next coming to the stage, give a warm round of applause for Mr. Gary Martin. Gary Martin, everybody. Gary Martin. What's up, everybody? Hey. All right. So uh, my mom just moved to Egypt, which I thought was fucking weird because Arabs are coming here and she wants to go there. <laughs> but uh, she met her husband on Match.com, which is awesome. But uh, I was amazed when I found out he wasn't Muslim. So, goddamn. But um, my birthday was this last week, and he called me and he's like, "I got a package for you." Fuck that! You can keep your package. <laughs> when an Arab calls an American for a package, A, it's a bomb, or B, it's anthrax. <laughs> Motherfucker, why does this card have powder in it? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> but uh, my mom's actually the only person I like in my family. I hate all those people in my family. Because every time I go over there, I'm like, you, they always ask me about stupid ass questions. Like, why does she have a job? <laughs> do you see your bison that's getting fired right now? Why do I want you fired? Also, I'm getting three hundred dollars a week on unemployment. <laughs> right? What's your five-year plan? Why don't you have a five-year plan? Why are you fucking bald? It's fat, and you're still with your roommates at fifty-five. <laughs> the, the fuck. <laughs> and uh, my grandma asked me. She's like. You know, you, you should really have a plan right now. Bitch, last time I saw you, you were always in the bathroom <laughs> for 12 hours at Christmas. You can't even unlock a fucking bathroom door. Why the fuck are you talking to me about having a job? <laughs> but, um... Uh, one thing I don't like about... Anything really, I guess this involves family, it's kids. I fucking hate kids. Like, I, I really do. Because I'm afraid that if I have kids, they're gonna come out ugly or retarded. And I just can't deal with that. <laughs> because, I mean, what do you do if you have an ugly or retarded kid? <laughs> uh, there should be an exchange policy. <laughs> there really should be. Because you can exchange a car. Can they change the TV? Why not a kid? You already had the receipt. It's a birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you should be able to take them back to Walmart. Because if you don't have a receipt, you get a credit for it. <laughs> the economy is fucking hard right now. I need groceries. <laughs> But, uh, or I do the class thing. I think you should, anybody should do the class thing. The class thing is different after your kid. Because everybody has a friend that has a birthday coming up. <laughs> do I? I got you this birthday present. It's a Down syndrome baby. <laughs> Have a nice 20 years raising that retarded baby. <laughs> All right, I have one more joke and I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> but uh, I was on a green card website the other day. I wanna know what retarded motherfuckers they have making these non-existent holidays. Like January 19th, Whisper, I love you day. The, f the fuck is that? <laughs> Whisper, I love you day? Is there really motherfuckers walking around? <sighs> Just whispering I love you? Like, I'm not gonna hang out with my boys drinking beer and getting high. Be like, hey man, I got something to tell you. It's January 19th. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. I love you. <laughs> that's some gay shit. <laughs> Alright, that's my time. <laughs> Gary Martin, everybody! 
That's right, Valentine's Day is coming up. I think that's what's for love today. Um, 